Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. I'm Brian Anderson at the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Now the starting group for the visitors and for the 76ers. And when you talk about the Atlanta Hawks, Brent, their entire 22-23 season seemed to be a win-one-lose-one one scenario. Yeah, a bit of a toss-up there, finishing 41-41. They made a coaching change, and with that comes a philosophical one, so you're making that adjustment. But the Hawks just never found their rhythm. You think with this offseason and retooling just a little bit that this team comes in composed Number with a goal in mind that they're going to be competitive this year and see if they can get beyond that first round exit from last year. Tipped. And they'll get another chance. Down low. Second chance effort. And count that. Two six. points. And a chance for one more at the line. What's up? He just brings a great feel for the game Number at the offensive end. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Philadelphia. Number six. One shot. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. effort was lacking a bit but hey give them credit for finding a weakness there just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad good on the Number shot 10. yeah attack mode from the start exactly what you want coming into this game tone setting right here early love that tenacity In his Number comfort five. zone, two for two to start this one. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. He takes it in. Count that Number one. Five. That's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Knocked away. And that's Number good. Eight. His first bucket of the game. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? There's the three. Counted Aaron. from distance. Three. It's a tie ball game. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. And he's going to the for two. The official team. saw contact while he That's was going first. Up. Personal foul. First wow. team that foul. That was clearly a foul. At the line for the away team. Number five. Two shots. That puts him up one point in the game now. Good on both. the 76ers. 
Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. It just goes five to points in the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go. Even with the defense not really a factor. Back to three centers at home from three-point land. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Goes up with the strike. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. Nice job to recognize the lack of D in that medium range area. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's King. And the 76ers tack on two more. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feet. Lays it up and banks it in. And say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always planning every trip down. Get to the paint, get deep, score. To the inside. Oh, it's stolen away. 146 left in the first. Over to the wing. Fades away. Shot clock at six. And King pulls it down. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. That one is off. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. The 76ers have gotten seven of their ten shots to fall. Blocks! And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. So both teams making some changes here. Minute four left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Hill. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. A nifty play off the dribble. Creates barely enough space to get off the shot. Check by Hill. Philadelphia grabs the miss. 35 seconds left to the first. Number yep, two. that one goes. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Check by Hill. Five on the clock. Number and the 22. basket is good. No, oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. And looks like an illegal pick. That's great. That's great. That gets two. Two. Attention. That's his the first screener was leading a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. On the court. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call. This one for three. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow! Your six he just nails the Boy. three. Way to close the score. Oh, you love nailing the last Boy. second shot. Always a feel-good moment. Some great action here early as we end the first quarter in a tie. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. 
And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. Shooting really well in this matchup. 62% from the floor. Grant, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. That makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. It's picked off! From nine feet out, Philadelphia grabs the miss. He had a teammate wide open for a better shot. I don't know why he still attempted that with the D right in his face. I think everyone in here felt that dunk. No question. That is a power-packed windmill jam. Wow. Oh, there's the alley. Doesn't go that time. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. Just, oh, man, you just missed that one. They're going to get another chance at it. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Here's Hill. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Picked it! Checked by Hill. Clock at four. No good there. Off the double clutch. The Sixers trailing. There's the block. And so it looks like the Sixers will retain possession here. Sixers ball. Timeout, timeout. Group out there. Timeout for the now Sixers. Timeout called by Philadelphia. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Pass to King. The shot, no good. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very serious. Number 10. Count the basket. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. To win the drop. Nails it from beyond the arc. King's got five now. He's the last guy you'd want to leave alone on the perimeter. it down. The 76ers have gotten only one of four shots to go in. 
was great read between those two guys. Good. The defense didn't Good. stand a chance, Kane. B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And no good, trying to use the glass. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Oh, and he can't make that one. Two for three now, his first miss. The 76ers have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. And he got the away whistle on the way out. So he'll be headed to the line 14. from there. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, number six. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. Falls, so he hits both of them. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for free. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. And for the 76ers, their shooting has been great this game. 58%. Ball stolen. It's an even three on three break. Puts it up from 12. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. A minute 32 left to play in the first half. There's the triple. That shot, no good. Shooting only 36% during the second. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul. 103 left in the first half. He can't get it to go. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. He's got nine. This dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. Hey, yo, right here. And no good. Gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. And a foul on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. Everyone in the first team is so obvious contact. Shooting for the away team. Number 10, two shots. good as he hits both shots and it's the Sixers for the ball 
Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Ooh, they pick off the pass. To the left wing. Going inside. It's hauled in by the Sixers. And that concludes That's the first, the first half. half with a score. Leading by seven. Your 76ers. Right, Allie's ready to go. Playing courtside. Hey, Allie. The away team. Coach Quinn cool. Snyder with us now. And, Coach, a bit of a lull for this team scoring the ball. Why? It had nothing to do with anything other than us being aggressive. We're, like, walking the ball up the court. And whoever's got it, we've got to attack. At least effort is something you can control. Thank you, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. Checking out the visiting team. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench, providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end. It's taking a lot of pressure off the starters. What a And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Philadelphia? Well, if they haven't given away so many possessions, check this out, man. The score would look different, don't you think? I mean, we can talk about shot selection and defense and all that, but if you keep losing the ball, that matters most. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Shooting it at 52%. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Shoots from the right block. And no good. King. King's got seven points. King's gone three for five shooting from the floor. And for Philadelphia. Offensive board. Shots no good. Made four, he's missed four now. The Sixers trailing. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Number five. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. At the line for Philadelphia, King, two shots. Two shots. First one falls for him. Also good, so he hits both free throws. Gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Knocks down One the three. triple. That's pretty much zero. how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow on out there. Got a piece of it. Head to the line for two. That's his seventh. 
first team foul. At the line for the away team. Two shots. Shooting two. Drops the first. That one's no good. The 76ers shooting around 50% in the game so far. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. That one's good for two. Six points for him. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Inside, there's the steal. From down in the low post, it goes. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Now we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played to the middle. And they're going to count that foul. bucket. And they'll Number send him to the line. It That's could be a three-point play. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. So it's At both teams the making team. substitutions here. Number 31. At the line for one. One shot. the 76ers call time here. Yeah. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian, on any given night, you can see NBA stars put up huge point totals. Clippers coach I Guy Basic. You, want a you have those big exclusive you. scoring well, nights. Guys more. are getting to the free throw line, and teams are encouraging them to take three-point shots. So if you get hot and you make some, you can score a lot of points. Brian? That all adds up, doesn't it, Ali? Thanks for that. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. The three is up. Hits the trifecta. 13 points in the game. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. The coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Rebound by the 76ers. That's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Two. Count it. Have to rotate out and help. Just too much size to contend with defensively. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's the break. And there's the rejection. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Ball. Something. 
substitution on the court. Terrific movement Assistant. off of the dead ball situation and a great play to get the bucket. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Time again. And he floats Christian. it in for the easy two. Assistant. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Which can make it so much easier for your teammate. When you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Pocket six. Second shot opportunity. And the jumper is on the mark. He's got five. Philadelphia's got three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. There's a minute 12 left in the third quarter. Boy, left him right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. Oh, incredible! Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome! Driving to the basket. It's good. On the putback. Now that takes a skillful touch. Yeah, excellent control to just ease the ball back up and in. Out to the right wing. To the paint. No good with a layup. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. It's hauled in by the Sixers. The Kings got six rebounds here tonight. And so it looks like the Sixers will retain possession here. Sixers ball. Substitution on the court. To the middle. Outside, Hill. Ooh, plenty of contact on that foul. shot. Officials call Number the foul, but he'll take two free throws That's now. That's his first yeah, personal good foul. There. Second team foul. At the line for Philadelphia. Hill. Two shots. The first free throw is good. So he makes both from the line. And on that the end of the third quarter, and the score is three quarters. You're seven to watch. 44. Oh, seven. The away and we'll team. Coming right back after this three to get the fourth quarter started.
And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. And he lobs it up top! Doesn't go for him. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He just, oh man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. And that one, one drops. Pass. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Into the lane. Inside. And that one's Number good. Eight. Nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. It's a mark, and that's two Number points 10. on the layup. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Got a piece of it, and they get it back. Another shot. Banked it in Number on the well, He takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. is in the 12-footer. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. That shot missing. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Launches a three. Fires in the triple. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are back And the 76ers call time here. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good Man, as a coach when you make all those adjustments. Man, pull the right man. strings. That's what they love to do. here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, Quinn Snyder had some ENT, words for his team over the break. The he told his guys to, quote, turn it up, going on to say, only way we get out of this hole is with effort, incredible effort. So show me what you can do out there. It's a big ask, but we'll see what happens. Back to you. As always, Allie, we thank you. Got all four shots to go in this final quarter. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. It's intercepted. Pass break, Philadelphia. And you can and count it. He'll go to the line six. with a chance at a three-point play. Defensive oh, What great action we've seen tonight. 
hard to that's imagine a more entertaining down. game. No, this is about as high time. octane a game as you're going to find. At the line for Philadelphia, number six, one shot. Four threes to drop from downtown in this game. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Here he goes. Good on oh, the bucket. The Sixers trailing. And it's good. Two points. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. 76ers foul. Number five. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. Played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. That one falls. Andres, number 14. Assisted, number 10. And it's the Sixers for the ball. I Charlie love great Paul. defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and That's he takes the hit. Foul. First team foul. the first one and that trims the lead to six he's perfect from the line this time and those were big shots at this point in the game you can't afford to leave any points at the line. And he drives in. And there's a whistle. He'll Number head to the two. line to shoot two. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Elbow. Two. Shooting for the away team. Number five. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. So he drops them both, and it's a seven-point game. 
making the most of his trip to the line and helping them extend their lead. Time. Thirteen feet out. That one's all for him. Six for eleven now. Gone one of two from deep in this quarter. There's forty-eight seconds left in the fourth. Missed inside. So it's Philadelphia now. It doesn't go for him. Sixers. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. So it's Philadelphia now. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Launches it from deep. Defender to pause right there. And an intentional foul right foul. there. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. That's his first Not a foul, foul. foul right there. Third team foul. At the line for the away team, number 14. Shooting two. Drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And so both free throws good. And it's a single game. Yeah, I think that's a wrap. I can tell you, you can't have more fingers than the game throws. of the game and tonight he served as the anchor on the defensive end the opposition didn't get the memo about his defensive skills clearly <laughs> and he made them pay for it he was just blocking shots away left and right out there we've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter here he can't hit that time and that's an intentional foul. foul. Number eight. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number 14. Two shots. Shooting two. a seven-point lead.
so he goes two for two at the line. And it's Time an eight point ball game. And the 76ers call time here. They're down by eight. Five ticks left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, and what's your take? Two little ones who play. Making the change won't save them now. Well, I'm going to use the cliche here. You can't take your time house with you, so they're going to use it. Sixers, you dance team. Five ticks left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Deflects the pass. And so the road team gets the W in this That's one. The end of the game. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Thank you once so again to everyone who made it out here It's never here easy to take a game with someone else's time. And please make and sure to get home safe. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.